Welcome to the Peace Security Channel again. Today I'll be doing another detection rate test. This time we'll be doing it uh, fast versus bit defender. Again, we've got 500 pieces of malware. These are different from the last video. So again, do not confuse them with, do not uh, try to compare the detection rates. But they are of course uh, same in both folders and they're pretty brand new malware. So again, we'll see. These samples are pretty similar to the kind of malware that I got last time. So yeah, maybe you can compare, but not that much. So let's see how they do. First of all, we'll go with Bitdefender. We're using Bitdefender Tool Security to do this with all the settings at stock. So let's do the scan and let's see how many it detects. And this should also give us an idea about the detection rate of a fast basically that's why I'm doing this to compare it with the fast because a lot of people think that a fast doesn't have good enough signatures so I'm going to delete everything and um, I'm expecting a really high detection rate why not bit defender is one of the best right again we're almost done And now we're done. So I'll just hit the close button, nothing doing. We'll just see what it has missed. And it's missed two files, that's great. Find a resemblance uh, to the last video. I think that's the same. Okay, I'm not going to tell it. You'll have to see the video. So it's 99.6%. Right, that's a good detection rate. So now let's see how Avast compares. Uh, a lot of people think that Avast has terrible signatures uh, and all that. So let's see how it does. I think you will all agree that Bitdefender has good signatures. So it's a good uh, thing to benchmark against. So here we have a folder. I have no idea what Avast is going to get. I mean, it's a long time since I've tested it and this is a new version, in fact. Uh, I will be doing a review on this version uh, maybe sometime a little bit later because I haven't got that much time now, but I'll be testing it. I haven't tested it yet, so I have no idea how it's going to do. But let's see how, how many it detects. That doesn't depend on the version really, but it's a new version and they've got something called EvoGen, so I'm, I'm really anxious to test that out too. So first of all, I'll do a folder scan. Now the reason I'm going to do it this way is because um, by default it does not scan for PUPs. I'm sure uh, there are not any more than maybe two or three PUPs here, but I'll turn it on anyway. Just to make sure that we're comparing them at the same level. I mean, not that one with PUP turned on, one with off, that's not fair. So. I'll be doing it this way and uh, it's no big deal. Anyone can do that. So let's wait for this to complete. I mean, a fast has one of the fastest scans. I don't really think I'll have to, I'll pause anyway, I guess. It's really fast though. And it's done. So you can see it's found so many things. I'll just uh, delete all of these. I guess I have to click and hold. What's going on? Yeah, it's click and hold. So yeah, I'll select delete. You can see everything's going to be deleted. And this is a really fast virus removal. I mean, this is one of the fastest I've seen. So that's really great. I'm not going to do a boot time scan. And I guess you guys know the reason. And we're left with 11 items. That's not a lot. So let's see what kind of detection rate that gives us. Yeah, it's 489 upon 500. Anyone can do the math. And that's 97.8%. So it's not that bad. And I think it's fair to say that, um, yeah, it's not the best when it comes to signatures. I fully agree, but it's not bad at all. It's, it's in fact, it's quite good. Now, I will turn on a fast and run these malware. I've turned off the sandbox. Now the reason I've done that is I want to find out what EvoGen actually does. Um, 
this thing seems to have gone through and uh, the URL got blocked, but not the file. So I'm really looking to just test the EvoGen. Don't use this as, um, you know, so here's one. This one was caught by the EvoGen and uh, that's almost as good as a signature. So um, I'm going to see what kind of detection rate we get after the files have been removed. So that's what I'm testing basically right now. Just making sure that um, we get the fair scores. Now, don't say why is it not sandboxing and why the first file got through. Don't start a debate on that. Um, that's not what this video is for. Uh, I've turned off the sandbox. I'm saying that again and again because some people will just say, hey, the sandbox is not working. CC, the file got missed. The vast is crap. So don't say stupid things like that. Use the video of what it is for. This is a detection rate test. So let's see if EvoGen catches any more. I don't know. Might catch, might not catch. Okay, that's in fact, that's quite good. It's catching a lot with this EvoGen thing. So it's actually seems to be uh, quite useful to me. I mean, the last version didn't have this EvoGen thing. Anyway, that one got missed, so um, I don't have any, I'm not running the ones that it's not catching. So I guess that's it, it's not going to catch anymore. That's all it can catch with the Evo Gen. And the first one you can see it, it gets through. So we're left with four files, I won't run any more um, times. I've already run them two or three times, so we'll take this. Um, as the final result and let's see what kind of detection rate this gives us so this is basically uh, signatures plus evogen not taking into account files blocked by sandbox and all that so this was the last score and uh, let's write it down this is without evogen keep in mind and now including the detections of evogen which is again i mean for a user it's not much different from a file being cut by the evogen or being cut by the signatures it's almost the same thing only difference is uh, the method of detection so evogen might have some false positives i guess but it's uh, it's the way it works so let's find out how many it catches with the evogen including the evogen detections uh, it goes really close to bit defender there's 99.7% no, I mean 2%, I'm sorry. 99.2% and uh, that's really close to what Bitdefender got. So I think this should uh, be substantial proof to say that a vest does not have bad signatures. I'm not defending a vest. This was just like a casual test. I did this because I had to install a vest uh, on this machine to test it anyway. So I guess uh, <laughs> it's a good test.